Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a Fog Puzzle today by Tulrak, who we featured on the channel a couple of times. And this is a unique arrow sandwich sandwiches puzzle with a unique rule. I do like sandwich Sudoku. I do like Fog of War Sudoku. Um, so I'm really looking forward to giving this a go. Do have a try on the link under the video, the first one if you want, but um, please bear in mind that tomorrow, 4 p.m. our time, we will be releasing the Snack Doku Pack, the um, incredible 100 puzzle December pack. <laughs> that's kind of your Patreon Christmas bonus. Um, that's the monthly reward for December, and we think it's going to be brilliant. Loads and loads of 4x4 four four Sudokus, and uh, you will finish a lot of them inside a minute or two, but you will enjoy the process because there's some very clever stuff there. Do join us on Patreon to check that out. Always loads of content there. Um, and our apps are all available, of course, on the links under the video. They feature things like Domino Sudoku and Arrow Sudoku. Not Fog of War yet, but that is covered by our Kickstarter, which there is still time to join. And again, the link is under the video. Check that out. Check out our streaming. We'll be back on Tuesday or Wednesday next week with part four of Chants of Sinar, where we try and interpret the speech of various warriors <laughs> and aesthetes, as we've dubbed them. I don't know what they really are. Um, we will be playing that again, Simon and myself, for a couple of hours on Tuesday or Wednesday next week, and you can catch up on the old stream. So loads going on, as always, around the channel. Uh, there's also Sven Sudoku Pad and our merch, loads of holiday merch. Check it out. I am going to be starting this puzzle now, though, which is the first link under the video. And as I say, it's called Unique Arrow Sandwiches. What, you may ask, are the rules? Normal Sudoku rules apply. One to nine goes in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Clues outside the grid, like the 26 up here, show the sum of the digits between the one and the nine in that row or column. So wherever one and nine appear in this row and column, this column, then the sum of the digits in between them will be 26 exactly. Digits in cells separated by an X, sum to 10. Digits on an arrow, sum to the digit in the arrow's circle. Different circles, ah, here's the unique rule. Different circles must contain different digits. So there's a maximum of nine circles in the grid, I reckon. The grid is partially covered in fog and placing correct digits will clear the fog from surrounding cells. Now it's very important, do not cheat. Do not just try every digit in this cell to reveal what's underneath. That is not allowed. You must use your logic circuits. Okay, let's restart the clock and say, let's get cracking. Um, okay, I'm going to tell you some things about sandwich Sudoku. Firstly, the maximum sandwich in one of these is 35. That is because if you sandwiched all the digits between 1 and 9, literally between 1 and 9, they add up to 35. We can get that from the normal secret of 45, the sum of every row, column and box in a Sudoku. Um, and we subtract the 1 and 9, the crusts, as we sometimes call them, and you are left with 35. Now, that means that if we have a row of 29, the outies, the, the digits outside the crusts and the sandwich, remember the crusts always add up to 10, so the crusts plus the sandwich in these rows adds up to 39. The digits outside them add up to the difference between that and 45, which is six. And they can't include a one, because that's a crust. So it's either a single six as the outy, or a two and a four. And one of the corollaries of this is that the middle three digits are definitely in the sandwich. They're not crusts. And I'm going to use a green color to color those. Now with a 26 sum, because it's over 21, the central digit in the column must be within the, or in the row, must be within the sandwich. So they're green as well. Now, let's think about this arrow that is revealed in box one. It's tempting to assume this is the circle, but it doesn't have to be. 
because this could be one, two, three with a one there and a circle of seven somewhere else in the box. Um, but one doesn't even have to be on the arrow, except it does because of the sandwich. One doesn't have to be on this arrow in theory because it could be two plus three plus four equals nine. However, that wouldn't allow the sandwich to exist. We'd have outies of nine straight away and we can only have outies of six in this row. So there is a one, it is a crust, it's somewhere here. The nine crust is somewhere over here and the outies add up to six now. They could be a single outie here, six, one, two, nine. We know that these X's aren't one, nine as a pair. Ah, that's quite interesting, because where does nine go in the box? We've got that nine, well, obviously, nine can't go on the arrow. Now that one is on the arrow and not in the X's, nine can't be on the X's. And now nine is in one of those cells. And the one in this column is not there, because the sandwich is 26. So the one is, well, you've got to have at least four cells. The one is somewhere down here. I'm, I'm just going to mark that for the time being. I hope to be able to remove pencil marking across boxes because it's not my favorite thing to do. What's this doing? I don't think that's any help. Um, oh, there's not much to go on here. <laughs> Normally the great thing about Fog of War puzzles is they're very linear. Because there's so little information, you know what you have to look at and, uh, and use. I don't know how to use this 11 clue. I can't do much with the 26 clue at the bottom. I haven't been able to do a lot with that. Okay, let's go back to this arrow. What's this telling me that I'm not not appreciating. We've restricted the one to one of two cells. Now, if the one is there, then the outies are this end. Oh, and then there'd be either two, four, or a six. What would that mean? If the outies were two, four, I don't know, there's just so many ifs. Okay, I'm going to think it through briefly. If the outies were 2, 4 over here, the only way 9 could be in this cell is if you had 2, 4 as outies here. Then these cells would be 1, 3, 5. You'd have a 9 here and a 9 here. Um, these x's would be 2, 4, 6, 8. And that would be a 7. That all works fine. Right, let's think about that being a one instead then. Now, could this be all of the outies? That could be a six. Then you, No, that won't work. You can't have six, one, two on this arrow because both of these couldn't use one, two, or six. They'd both have to be three, seven. That's not possible. Okay, so six is not on this arrow. I see. I do see. I see something. I see something. This is a corollary of what I've just been saying. I think, despite the fact that I've just said six is not on this arrow, I don't think this can use three digits from one, two, three, four. Oh, that's really interesting. No, it can't. Because these two will use two digits from one, two, three, four. So there's only two left over for this one. So it must use a higher digit. And if it can't use six, can't use seven, that's too high. It must use five. Isn't that weird? There's got to be a five on this arrow. So now it adds up to it. Well, the five isn't an outie because that's not a possible outie. This adds up to six already. So we can either put a 2 or a 3 on it, 
and we've got to a total of eight or nine. Now that still doesn't make this a definite circle. Oh, this puzzle's very interesting, actually. What has Tolright been up to? These can't have a low digit in, because there's two low digits there, and there's definitely two here, and five. So these are from six, seven, eight, and nine. And they definitely include nine. Now, four can't be on this arrow, because it would bust it. So four is in one of the X's. So six isn't in those cells. One of these X's is a four, six pair. The other one is either two, eight or three, seven. And these include, okay, let's say these included a three. These were one, three, five. Now that wouldn't have any outies in, so one would be there, this would be a 3-5 pair, that would be a definite 9, that would be 9, what is this, is there a problem here, officer? That would be a 7, because these would be 2-8 and 4-6 in some order, so that would be a 7. 7 cannot be an outie in a 26 column is that right? No, it's not quite right. Seven can only be an outie in a 26 column if the other outie is a two. So remember, the outies are 35 minus the column, the, the sandwich clue. So the outies add up to nine in this column. That's okay putting a one there. They could be two, three, four down here. But for that to be a seven in the, in the situation in which this is one, three, five, the other outie would have to be a two, but this one would be three or five, and the outies would add up to too much. Whoa, that is complicated. But it proves this is not one, three, five. So this is one, two, five. One can't be here because of the 26 vertical sandwich. Five can't be here because of the outies in this row. These are now using three and four. They are three, seven, and four, six in some order. This pair is now an eight, nine pair. Eight cannot be an outie along with two or five, so that is a nine. Um, oh, and there's a circle. Right, I'm coloring that. Actually, I knew that would be a circle if I'd thought about it, because as soon as I know this is a nine, we can't have a nine in any of these cells as a circle. So that's an eight. Um, oh, we've got an X revealed. Let's, let's just do what we are achieving. Oh, that revealed nothing. There's an eight here by Sudoku somewhere. It won't be an outie. Now, what's this pair? This is again from three, seven or four, six. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. It's not four, six, is it? Because the outies in this row are either a single six or a two, four pair. So that doesn't allow a four, six to be in the sandwich. That's a three, seven pair. That's lovely. This is four, six or nine, just Sudoku. It's not nine because there's a nine here. It's four or six. Now, I should do a bit more colouring. Those are all green for this 26 sum. Now, there are outies of nine, which are at least two cells, so those are green and don't include one. The one is in one of those two cells. It could still be a one there with a two, three, four set of outies in the column. Okay. Um, these are all green because they're not nine or one, nor is that given eight. Sorry, I'm losing, losing track of what I'm doing now. Is that a two and that a four? Or is that a one? Then I still, oh, then we would not have a two in the outies, so that would be six. So hang on, let me just figure out the possibilities. If that's a two, that's four and that's nine. If it's a one instead, then two's here, 
And that's a single six out in. This is always going to be nine. This is always the nine. That's the next digit I get. And it's going to reveal a whole box. Bam. That's brilliant, actually. That's so surprisingly weird. Now, that has to be where eight is. I still don't know whether this is part of a 4-2 pair of outies or a single six. But I've got red here. These are green. Now, I've got this whole new arrow to mess around with. And remember the rule about, ah, yeah, circles can't contain the same digit. So this is not an 8, because we've had that. It's also not a 9 by Sudoku, so that's 6 or 7. This is either 1, 2, 3 or 1, 2, 4, and definitely includes 1 and 2. And that makes this a 1, 2 pair. I have a feeling this is going to peter out almost immediately. Um, five and seven are up here. Yes, seven is up here. So that's not a seven, three pair. It didn't peter out. That's a four, six pair. That's a three, seven pair. Now three is not in this group of cells and it's a one, two, four set. And we get seven in this circle and another arrow. Now let's just tidy up at the top. Five, six, nine there. That has become a six. That's a four. This is three, five, seven. That one's not a seven. Okay. Now it's time to think about the next arrow. And we've got another, another 29 row here. I wonder if it's going to do a different thing or the... Oh, we've got that six out here. Hang on, there's more tidying up. So this is the sandwich, the, the crust. That's the one. And that isn't. Oh, and that just still leaves me with a pair. Right, now, can I play the same game and say there has to be a one here? If this, yes, I can. If this was two, three, four, they would all be outies. That's no good. That's too many. So there is a one there. And the crust. Now, the nine crust in this row has to be in one of those cells. These two see a nine in the box and a one in the column. So they're not one or nine. I can green them. Probably doesn't help, but nonetheless, we'll do it. Now, one. Now, what did we do? We started thinking about the outies, didn't we? Oh, but here, we had those two X's in that box. That was very different from what's going on here. Again, the outies are either a single six or a two and a four, and they can only occur in these cells, but they must occur somewhere in these cells. Oh, I was gonna say, they can't be a two, four pair here because this would add up to seven and we can't put seven there. That is a dangerous conclusion because we can still have a nine circle somewhere and we could add one, two and four and a two there. and fit a nine circle in somewhere. Okay, I don't know what to do with this anymore, so I may have to come back to that, but let's think about this column where we've got outies of nine, either in two cells or a two, three, four triple, which would require that to be one, this to be five, then you'd get six there and seven there. That does seem to work. Alternatively, these two add up to nine and they don't use one eight and that's not very, very fulfilling. Ah, oh, gosh. Again, there seems to be nothing that I can use to go on. Wait, I've got this 11 row now. Okay, what are the sandwich contents going to be there? They could be a five, six pair sandwich between a nine and a one. Is that the only possibility? The answer is no, because they could be five, two, four, sandwiched between a nine there and a one there. So one is in one of those cells, not there. Nine is in there or there, not here. That's really frustrating. Yes, I mean, I suppose the way to look at that is the only possible sandwich contents here are two, four, five, and six. 
and we need an odd digit to to be in the sandwich to make it up to 11. That's got to be the 5. So it's either going again with 2, 4 or with 6. So it either runs, I'm just going to put this in the corner, 9, 6, 5, 1 and then a 2, 4 pair or we've got 9 here 5 here, so this is always going to be the 5. No, that, that can't be right. No, no, I got, I got it wrong. When I said it was going to run 9651, it could be 9561. The 56 could be in either order, of course. Right, alternatively, we've got a 9 here, and then that must be a 5, that's a 2 4 pair, and that's a 1. And that has not enlightened me at all. Well, this can't be a five, because five's in the sandwich. <laughs> oh, that's not information. That's just nothingness. Is it this arrow then? I don't see how I can... I mean, I thought about this arrow and I didn't come up with anything. It can't be the 26s. Honestly. Is there something I haven't marked off from earlier that was just obvious and I can't see it? I can colour these green and that and all of those. That's not going to change anything. Um... Okay, let's just think briefly about whether this can be a one. Well, okay, if this is a one, that is two or four, because it can't be another six. So if this is a one, that's two or four. And then that's also two or four, and that's where nine is. If this is a one, these are both outies, and that's a 2-4 pair. And if this is a 1, then we've got a 6 outie here and a 9 here. Then this is freed up to have almost any possibility on it. Just wondering if this arrow is definitely coming to a nine circle somewhere. Is there any way for this to be one, two, three? I think there is. Actually, there are two ways for it to be one, two, three. So that could be a, a six circle or another low digit on its way to a nine circle. Okay, there is something to think about here, though. I don't know quite how to get a handle on this again. It's a very elusive puzzle. Wow. What are we meant to do next? It's got to be about this arrow. There's just, again, the linear nature of Fog of War means there's just nothing else to use. I've got to think harder about this arrow. But it could easily contain, I don't know, any combination of digits with a, of lowish digits. Um, it could have one, three, five adding up to nine. I don't see why not. It could have one, two, four, and that would leave various possibilities up. No, it wouldn't. We'd still be coming to it. We can't have seven or eight as a total. Okay. So we'd be coming to a nine total. Okay, so we're either coming to a six or a nine circle. That's clear. If it's a six circle, it's sitting right there. So if it's a six circle, and this is one, two, three, the six circle is there. That forces this to be a five. But that doesn't even determine whether the sandwich goes this way or that way. 
Oh, that's just so frustrating. Can it be... Now, if it's not coming to a six circle there, it's coming to a nine circle. We've got nine in one of those positions. So I think the nine circle would have to be in the fog here. Wouldn't it? You can't... If you had one, two, three there... Yeah, you couldn't come through this row with a two and a one to get to a circle down here. So the circle would be hidden in the fog here. So the circle is in the fog here, is either six or nine somewhere. If it's six, it has to be there. I mean, I could limit this cell now to one, two, three, six or nine, which is terrible pencil marking but quite amusing. Um, something about the outies in this row. What, though? If that was a one, then this would have to be one, two, four. I think that would have to be a two, and that would be a nine. I mean, then, that is true, that is true. So, if those were the outies, if one was here, that's what I'm saying, if one was here, those would be the outies, they would have to be two and four for the row. That would become a two, and that would become a nine. That would push nine up here, that would be a five, six pair. You'd get a one here, clashing with that one there. Okay. That is not possible. We cannot have a one here. I've worked that out. Do you see that? Because that would make those two four outies. This arrow would need that to be a two and that to be a nine. That nine forces a nine up here. And then on this sandwich, we get a one there. And that's clashing with the one we started with there. So that's not a one. So we've got one down to two positions now. Now... If that's a one, that pushes the one in box three to here. And that pushes nine to here. What's the problem with that? The, the, if that's a one, the outies in this row are a single six there. And that's a nine. That six forces four there and six here. And that makes six one of the outies down here with a three. So you'd get a one there. Ooh, I don't know, it's, it's getting interesting, but I can't quite find anything wrong with it. Okay, the alternative is that one Oh, no, that's where I started, isn't it? The one was here, and that was a six. Yes, that's what I was doing. The alternative to that is that this is a one. This can't be a six, then. This has to be two or four, as does that. Oh, does that mean whichever one of these is a one, that's not nine? Yes, it does. This is not nine anymore. Oh, that has taken forever. Right, well, you can see, actually, if this was a nine, now that we've ruled one out of there, thanks to this weird, complicated stuff, you can't have successful outies. You'd have to have one there and a clashing six here. So that's not a nine. My goodness, so we get a nine here. That's so hard. Right, now we've got stuff. So that's gone green. It sees nine and one. Um, now, this is a two, a four, or a six, and I, I still don't know which. I don't know where the one goes. I just know the nine is there. Right, what about this X? It doesn't have a nine or an eight on. It's either three, seven, or four, six, and that means it doesn't have a one on. So we found the one in the column. There it is, on an arrow, a long arrow. A long arrow. Oh, that can go red. Uh, these are all green. They see one and nine. That's green. 
There is a one in one of these two cells. I'm prepared to bet it's on the arrow. Anybody want to take that bet? Nobody? Okay. You're very wise. Um, right, let's think about this arrow then. If that was a six, it's still possible. You go one, 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 nine. And then that would have to be a six in that arrow. I can't rule that out. That's really frustrating. Can I rule out four or six there? No, I don't think so. Because that could be a four with a single... No, I don't I mean, I don't think there's any way. I'm gonna have to think about this blinking arrow again on the right. And of course, as soon as I say that, all I'm thinking about is this arrow. Ah, right, of course. This cell is not a nine because I've colored it green. Because of this 26 clue, that can never, that is always in the sandwich. It's never the nine. So this is not a six. And now we know that the outies in this row are two and four. And there's another one over this side, which is green and not a one. And we've suddenly placed one. If I could hit the right buttons. There we go. Now, now, what do we know about this arrow now? We've got two and four both in the row. I can take four at least out of that cell. This can't be two, four, one, nine, or seven, or eight. It is three, five, or six. Now, what's going on here? We can still have a two, one, three arrow, and that be a six. Can that be a four? I think the only way this digit could be a four is if we go four, one, three, one, nine. And darn it all, I think that works. I can't believe that that works, but I think it does. Oh, okay. Um, oh, we've got this new circle. Is that? Doesn't look any use, does it? It can't be six or seven by Sudoku. It can't be eight because of the other circles but it could be a one cell arrow pointing to here. So, so, mu so much for that. This puzzle's nonsense, isn't it? How can it keep going being so difficult at every step? Ah. Oh. These two add up to nine, don't they? And they don't, they're not one eight as a pair. Now they're also not three six because that would remove all possibilities from that. So they're either two seven or five four. And that uses up the two and the five in the column, definitely. Nine one, two and five are used up. This can't be seven or eight. So that is three, four or six. That's an interesting finding, but possibly not conclusive. This is two, seven or five, four. Now, have I, do I have to think about this? 26. Oh, look, those are all green because we've had one and nine in the column. Oh, this arrow, I mean, the numbers on it could all be so small. It could carry on for another two cells almost. Not quite that, but... Okay, but this is going to be a six or a nine arrow. This one, could it be less? Two, one, 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 and a five. It could be less. Wow. Okay, I've got, to, I've got to keep forcing myself back to thinking about this arrow again and again.
No, let's just do this column one more time. If that's 5, 4, that's a 2, that's a 3, 7 pair, and that's 6. If that's 2, 7, that's a 6, 4 pair, and that's 3. So it's not a 4. But I can't get any further than that, can I? That is 3 or 6. Ooh, if it's 6, this can't be a 6. So, one of these two is a 6. If it's that... Can this be a 6? This would be 6, 1, 2, leading to a 9. That would be... F oh, that would be 4. Which would make this a 3, 7 pair, and that would be 6. Oh, what's going on here? Something's going on here with that being a 4. So either this is a 4, and then we're going 4, 1, 3, 1, 9. Or this is a 4, in which case this is a 3, 7 pair, and this is a 6. And then again we're heading for a 9 arrow. Is this right? Is this right? If this is a 4, we're heading for a 9 arrow along this, a 9 circle along this arrow. If this is a 4, it makes this into a 6. And then we're again not heading for a 6 arrow. So this is never a 6 arrow. We are heading for a 9 arrow in one of those two cells. I can't seem to highlight them both at the same time. There we go. Now there's a 9 in these three cells now. Probably in the arrow. Well, no, I don't know. Possibly in the arrow. Now, what does this mean? If that was a 9, then you force the 9 here. You've got a 5, 6 pair, and you've got a 1 here. And if that's the 9... This has to be 6, 1, 2. And that's 4. Oh, come on, come on. This can't be a 5. Oh, no, it could, because this could be a 1. This can't be a 3 anymore. If that was 3, 1, 2, 3, 9, actually, no, that's possible. And which of these is the circle? I can't tell. Okay, Mr. Long Arrow, what's going on with you? Yeah. Now, I need to know which of these is a four. This is vital. Whatever one it is, is doing stuff. If that's a 4, that's a 3. That's a 2. I can't see what the difference is. If this is a 4, maybe that breaks this arrow quickly. We have a... One or a two there, a one there, a one or a two there. Four, five, six, but we could still have a one, two, but I just don't know. My goodness. Oh, we've got nine in one of those cells. These are green. I'm sure that's doing nothing to help the cause. We've got nines in one of those. Where's the one in this box? Is that interesting? Don't think so. Is it really something to do with this 11 sum again? Nine, five, two, four, one. 
What would that do that would harm us? That nine would make that a nine. And that must make this six one. So if that's a nine, so let's say that's a nine, then that's a nine. This has to be six one two. Then we have a four here. That's going to make this into a six. It's so tricky to see what's that, what the consequences of things are here. Maybe I need to think about this bottom row. I just haven't really thought much about that. We could have a nine here. And then one would be somewhere here. We could have... Okay, the left hand crust is going to be in one of those two places and the right hand one somewhere here. So we've either got a nine there, well, or a crust here, which would stop that being one and that being nine. That feels like an interesting thing maybe for later in the puzzle. And a crust here would force a crust here. And in fact, that would be 8765 at that point. I don't know, it doesn't quite yield anything to me. So we're, going, we're coming back to this arrow, trying again desperately to work out what is going on on it. Um, if that's a nine. It just doesn't seem very decisive if that's a nine. You get six, one, two here. I can't see a big problem with that. If it's a low number, then that's a nine and these add up to less. I mean, I can see them adding up to well, I can see, I can't see them adding up to seven. So maybe I could take two out of that cell, which is the most minor adjustment I could possibly make. Three, one, four, and a one. Six, one, two, straight away nine, or three, one, two, and a three. So actually, I don't think this can be five. I'm wrong. Why can't it be five, one, two, and a one? And a nine. I can't see a reason why not. I do not want to give up. This is so interesting and clever. And, and I'm probably being so slow not to see the way through at this point. I can imagine that you're seeing it and going, why can't you see now? That's just so little to look at, and yet... Um, that can't be seven or eight. Or six. Okay, if this was a nine, this has to be a five. With one, 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 two, that's quite forcing. Then this becomes a four, and that's impossible. Right, this can't be a nine, that's it. That's all it takes. If this was a nine, we'd have nine, eight, and seven in circles. This would be a six. And this would be a five. But both that six and that five would require twos on their arrows. And that's not possible. So that is not a nine. My goodness, there we go. Well, if you could see that and you're shouting, that's obvious. I think you're a bit cruel. Nine there. Right, we've done it. That's green. Um, now, has that actually... Well, it's made this arrow more than one cell. And these two cells have to be at least two and three. Oh, and this can't be a nine anymore, of course. So nine, eight, seven, six are all in, 
impossible for this arrow. So it has to be a five with a two and a three on its... That's a five in the circle with two and three on its arrow. It has to be. That two and three forces this to be a four and this to be a five. That doesn't feel like it's going to do anything. Um, is it? No, I don't think that's done anything there. But six and eight are the remaining cells in the column. Now, that's not a five anymore. Oh, come on, come on. Do something more. Two, three there five five now has to be in one of those two cells in box four and one of those three that's not very exciting but the arrows these arrows wherever they are are six and nine doesn't even have to. In fact, it's not, sorry, the circles. This is not a circle. It's green. For goodness sake. So can six be the circle down here? And I think the answer is now no, because those are both on the arrow. If they were one and two, and that's a one, and that's a one and two, the minima, that comes to seven. So nine is the circle on the arrow that this, on the, sorry, nine is the digit in the circle that this is leading to. So therefore this is now a six, which I've somehow taken out of the candidates, but it's definitely right. That is a six. It's not right. Oh, I'm sorry, this, okay. That's, that's me being very foolish. Poor effort there, Mark. Right, there's no reason that this can't be a six. The fact that it's green doesn't mean it can't be a circle. It just means it can't be a nine. You numpty. Right, so the fact that I have taken six. Why did I take six out of this circle? I think I determined... When did I do that? Was it, I'm just going to go back and see when I took six out of that cell. Quite a while ago. There. How did I think I knew at that point that this couldn't be a six? I'm going to put, put six back into the circle and think about it again. There may have been a reason, but I don't remember what it was. So six there makes this three, one, two. It also forces that to be a nine. Ah, we get a clash of twos here. That's so weird. Okay, this is not what I did. I think it was a mistake that I took six out of this cell, but I can now do it because, I don't know if it's going to help anyway, but if this was a six with three, one, two there, remember that two, that six would make this a nine, which makes this a nine, which makes this 11, a five, six pair, that becomes the one crust, and there's a two there, clashing with two there. So this can't be a six. And it does mean that the circle we're working to up here is a nine. And that's put nine, eight, seven, and five in circles. So the circle we're working to down on this arrow is not five, seven, eight, or nine. It's got to be, at, it's got to be more than four already. So it is a six. And can that avoid being in this cell? And the answer is no, because that would need this to be an arrow cell. Two, one, 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 two is seven. So that is six. There we go. My goodness. Ah, oh, I'm sorry about the logic circuit break. That's a three I'm trying to put in there. Right. Now, this is not the circle. So this is now we know how to do this because we've spent so long case testing 
that we know what's going on. That isn't a 9, so this is a 9. That puts 9 here. That makes these two the 5, 6 sandwich. Let's just bing, bing that in there. Now, those are red. I'm going to keep the colouring going. That is the crust now and is a 1. That's the 2 in green. That makes this a 4. Now we finish off the sum. I mean, you probably did it in your head already. That is now a 2, which was necessary anyway to get to the 6. This has to be a 1. There's nothing higher it can be. And then we can do the maths and we get a 2 here. Oh, we can start breathing again after this agony of an hour on a fog of war puzzle. I feel like a bit of a numpty. Um, right, we still haven't finished, but I think we've got a lot of information now. That can't be three. That's not seven. Um, this is a two and an eight in that box to finish it off. In fact, we can finish off seven. We get a three in the corner. That's three in the corner. That's three in the spot. Light losing its religion. Right, these are all green because they're four, five, and six. Um, that is three or six because we've got a five somewhere there and a four there. So this is now a five, four pair. That becomes a three on the X. That's going to tidy up the column. Well, we get a five, four pair at the bottom. That's two. That's five. That fixes four and five. That fixes four and six. I've got one digit left for box four. Still three fog cells in the grid to tidy up at some point. That's become a three, though. Um, these are five, six, and eight in some order. That one can't be eight. This one is a seven. That is a naked single, basically, now. Now, six in this column, we can actually do that. Then we've got eight and one. One is a crust in a 26 sandwich and its other crust needs to be there. That's a nine. We said this was going to have to be eight, seven, six, five to be the sandwich and make it so. Um, I don't really need to be doing the colouring anymore, but I can't help myself. Eight, seven, six, five, we said. So there we go. That's how that transpires. Three and two over here. Are we going to get another? We are going to get another three in the corner. That's three in the corner. That's three in the spotlight. Losing its religion, but helping us finish the puzzle, which is the best contribution it can make to humanity at this point. Right. Um, I think we are there now. Finally. Six, nine pair there. Eight and oh, oh no, 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 no. I want to put eight and seven in here and neither can go. So I've still managed to do something wrong. Even in this sort of simple finishing off bit. <clears throat> Let's go back a little then and work out <laughs> what I've done wrong this time. Eight, seven, six, five. They do add up to 26. They do. I don't understand how I can have done something wrong here. Um, let's do it another way then. Three, two. What on earth am I up to? Two and three there. Surely they are in that order. Don't deserve a second party. Seven and three. But now I've got this... 7-8 problem. Ah, I've got an 8 there and I've written an 8 here, which should be a 5. So that was a typo. Whew! Okay, that's a relief. 7-8-6-9. Right, then we were going to go up here. 5-6-5-8. Five, five, uh, I don't know what's happening to the screen now. 8 is there. Seven and three, and that lets me place three here. One and two are done. Two and four are done. That's a nine. Let us finish off the redding and greening of the grid. Like so. 
and just a few cells to go now. Six, nine, six, four, and a four. There we are. Wow, Tolrak, that is fabulous stuff. That is so confusingly difficult to me, but all thoroughly logical. One of those brilliant puzzles. Great to have them on the channel, as always. Thank you for watching. Pleasure to be with you, and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.